Over the weekend, supporters of Bernie Sanders had more than 400 house parties across the nation, including in Puerto Rico, all with the goal of calling on him to run for president again. They made it clear they want him to finish what he started in 2016 and carry on the political revolution into 2020. Now, with each passing day, we are getting closer to the launch of Bernie Sanders' 2020 campaign. And even if he has yet to formally announce that he's running, it is evident that a Bernie 2020 campaign is inevitable because as we speak, he's currently gearing up to announce again. And we know that his announcement is coming soon because he's currently staffing up and it's evident from an article put out by Politico that he's doing a lot to get prepared. Bernie Sanders is adding firepower to his political team ahead of a 2020 campaign, locking down digital alumni who were key to his surprise performance in 2016 and recruiting the media production company that helped launch Alexandria Ocasio-Cortez to prominence. The flurry of activity detailed by four people familiar with the campaign's thinking is the latest sign that the Vermont senator is closing in on a decision on a second run for the White House. Means of production the filmmaking cooperative that created the viral campaign video that propelled Ocasio-Cortez's house campaign is in talks with the Sanders team about a major role in 2020, and two people who powered Sanders' record-breaking small-dollar fundraising operation in 2016 have agreed to join the subsequent presidential bid if it materializes, according to a Sanders campaign aide. Tim DeGaris and Robin Curran, his digital fundraising director and digital production director in 2016, responded. Respectively. The aide said another pair that have helped Sanders build a digital media juggernaut out of his Senate office, media producer Armand Aviram and digital director George Park are likely to be part of his 2020 team too. The steps also suggest that Sanders has every intention of trying to reactivate the army of liberal activists he amassed two years ago, undergirded by an unapologetic democratic socialist message backed by a state-of-the-art fundraising and digital infrastructure. So make no mistake about it, Bernie 2020 is coming and it's coming really soon. Now, sources close to someone who I'm familiar with says that there may be an announcement really soon. I can't tell you how soon, but it's coming. Now, regardless if Bernie Sanders has announced yet or not, there's already a campaign to stop him from rising to prominence again, and this is by the establishment. And when I say the establishment, understand that I'm collecti collectively referring to corporate media, centrist Democrats, think tanks who are associated with the largest Democratic Party's donors, including the Center for American Progress. So there is already a huge campaign to discredit Bernie Sanders. So the anti-Bernie 2020 campaign has already started. It's just a matter of us launching Bernie Sanders' campaign, and it's coming very soon, according to all the signs and some insiders who say that it will in fact be happening soon, and that an announcement is imminent. Uh, and that's good. Uh, I'd rather him announce sooner rather than later, given that we have an announcement coming from Joe Biden presumably within the next couple of weeks. We have individuals like Kirsten Gillibrand set to announce on Colbert that she's forming an exploratory committee. We have Kamala Harris potentially announcing an exploratory committee relatively soon. We have Elizabeth Warren already announcing an exploratory committee and campaigning in Iowa. We have Julian Castro announcing that he's running for president officially. So there's a lot of candidates already throwing their hats in the race. It's only a matter of time before Bernie Sanders announces. And for those of you getting impatient, like myself, understand that the reason why this is all taking time is because one, he wants to make sure that he's going to do it right. And second of all, he's still working his ass off for people. I mean, he just announced a bill to raise the federal minimum wage to $15 an hour. So, I mean, he's not going to stop fighting for the people, even if he's running for president. So, understand that it's coming. It's coming very soon, and um, we should all be prepared to dedicate as much time as we can to helping him be successful in 2020. Because if we want him to win, we have to do more than just donate $27 we have to make sure that if we can, we knock on doors, we phone bank for Bernie Sanders, because if he's going to be successful, this is going to be because of all of the grassroots energy that is fueling his campaign. And that includes you watching this. So start small. 
spread the word, you know, um, in your social circles, tell your friends and family, but most importantly, sign up and get involved because that's how we are going to beat the machine and ultimately defeat Donald Trump in 2020. So I'm getting very excited. You know, 2020, this, this primary is going to be long. It's going to be ugly, but this is the start of something potentially really good in America, a political revolution that we desperately need because we have a political establishment that is out of touch, that is so painfully out of touch. I mean, Congress has an 18% approval rating. We have a president who doesn't care about anyone in the country, only himself. And it's time that we take the country back from the oligarchs who have seized control of government. And that starts with someone who's a revolutionary candidate like Bernie Sanders. So I hope that you will consider joining his campaign. But for those of you who already had decided to do that, um, the wait is almost over. Okay, I assure you the wait is almost over. And if I'm wrong about that, Nobody will be more upset than me. So, um, Bernie 2020 is coming soon. It's just a matter of time. Hopefully, we will get an announcement before the end of the month. Mike is a total loser. So don't hit the subscribe button, okay? And whatever you do, folks, do not hit the notification bell either. Mike treats me so unfairly.